Today I'm going to be talking about the she shed and for once I think I might actually be ahead of the trend. Traditionally sheds in the garden, the guy zone I guess, Ben's definitely got one, he's got a big tool shed nestled in to the corner of our garden but it's definitely his man cave. Sheds for the girls. I'm not really one for the whole gender split stereotype. These are basically like an, out, an extension of the home, so maybe craft sheds or um, a writing area or even just an extra living room, like a summer house, I guess. But they're decorated nicely, they feel sort of pleasant and inviting. And they are all over Pinterest at the moment. I created my own she shed about 18 months ago. Sick of the gardening stuff being sort of shoved in a forgotten corner of Ben's shed, I demanded a potting shed of my very own and we built one. I could get to the gardening stuff and I thought naively that that would mean that I would do more gardening. I should probably make an admission here. Gardening is not really my thing. And I go through these little sort of crazes where I'm like, yay, let's sort the garden. And they last all of about five minutes. My potting shed was one of these like little crazes that I have. Um, I filled it with the gardening stuff, did a little bit of gardening. The garden looked nice for a couple of weeks. And then I sort of lost interest and it became yet another dumping ground. So by this summer, it was so full of stuff you couldn't even get through the door. So having seen all these inspirational sheds on Pinterest, I thought it was about time I reclaim my potting shed. When we originally put the shed up, Ben had built me a nice worktop and some shelves. So the first thing I needed to do was to find them under all the junk, so cleared out all of that stuff from the shed. And then I wanted to paint it white because it feels dark in there, it's quite a small space and I thought a lick of white paint would make it feel lighter and brighter and would make me want to spend more time in there. Now my shed was absolutely full of cobwebs and nooky things so I had to give it a really good brush out first before I painted it. We used some primer first to do all the walls and the ceiling and then some matte emulsion on the top. The next thing was to sort the storage of the gardening tools. On a piece of board, I put some hooks and some screws and then nailed that to the wall of the shed and I could hang up the smaller tools or a bigger spade. And I had a good old rummage around our garage, which is another dumping ground that I really, really need to tackle. And I found an old um, Ikea picture ledge, one of the river picture ledges and I popped that at the end and on there I could put all my seed packets so finally I can see what I actually have that I could sow. Also in the garage I found an old container for cat food. I filled that with compost, I still have the scoop so I can scoop that out whenever I need to do some potting. And then I wanted to find a way to store my garden twine and string and Ben came up with a genius idea for this. He found me an offcut of copper piping from his shed you use it for plumbing and also a couple of plastic pipe clips. I could mount the pipe clips onto the wall of the shed so I can take out an end, put on the string and then clip it in place and then it's really easy to, to um, pull off a bit of string. Another idea pinched off Pinterest was to make a hole in the worktop with a bin underneath so that when I've been doing some potting I can just sweep the compost into that hole. So Ben used what's called a hole saw, which is an attachment that fits onto your drill to drill me a hole in the worktop. I had um, the inside of an old kitchen bin hanging around and I popped that under the hole. So when I finish potting things up, I can just sweep with my hands or a brush down that hole and it's all neatly gathered together. One thing I am always losing and I like to have every time I'm gardening is my gardening gloves. Easy idea for this used an old coat hanger, popped a screw on the back of the door so I could hang the coat hanger there and then I've just used pegs to peg the pairs of gloves onto there. Of course, much as I would love it to just look beautiful, it is a practical space as well. So there is space on one of the higher shelves for weed killer, plant food, all of those kind of things. And then finally, I love me some fairy lights. So I've just strung some along the top because a, it will add a bit of light, but B, it makes it look lovely. 
So now I have my shed that I can be proud of and I will want to spend time in and the only question is, will I be able to keep it clear and will I ever actually do some gardening? I've shared more She Shed ideas over on my blog, growingspaces.net, I'll pop the link below, or there are some great She Sheds on housetohome.co.uk, again, I'll pop the link below. I hope you've enjoyed this little tour of my shed. If you've got any comments, leave them below and I will answer them. And I will see you back here with more ideas next week.